All right, I'm Jason from the Ectoplasm Show, and this is Ming Chen. Yeah, a comic book man. What's comic going on at a, at a Comic Con? Imagine yes. that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, tell me about the Ectoplasm Show. The Ectoplasm Show is a podcast about all things paranormal, strange, and odd. We're about to hit 400 episodes. We've been going since 2015. 400? Yeah. Congratulations, my friend. And, you know how many uh, podcasts don't survive like 10 episodes? I, yes, like I know 90% that. of mm -hmm. them. Yeah. So 400 Actually, I wasn't on the first 10 episodes. They kind of failed, and they brought me in as a white knight to kind of keep it going. Wow, and look at you going. know. Yeah. Look at you know. That's awesome. And so, um, yes. I'm I have sorry, a question. I'm taking, I'm taking no, no, over. no, 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 What's no. Your question? I, that's good. Have you ever had any paranormal experiences? Um, not really. Uh, no. There was a, we did an episode on the paranormal on comic book man. I don't know if you ever saw I it. I did. I did see that. Where episode. um uh, the 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 kind of joke was uh, Walt thought he saw a paranormal. I, I remember that uh, entity episode, yeah. in the basement of the comic book shop. It just turned out to be me. So uh. yeah, I, I, I just I don't, yeah. To, it um, turned out to be me sleeping in the stash basement. Yeah. But. Um, What's that sound? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was me. Actually, you want to hear the whole story? I absolutely yeah. want okay, to hear the whole there's, story. Okay, there's because there's a lost uh, scene that never made it to air. Oh, so okay. We, uh, Exclusive. Yeah. So somebody brought in some paranormal equipment, uh, yeah. um, and we went and investigated the basement. And our, the store is like a hundred years old. The building and. Uh, it was inconclusive, I think, as to whether there was any paranormal thing. But we had concocted the storyline that we wanted to do, where Walt thought he saw a, um, a troll or something oh. in the basement. And um, so we shot this whole thing where we, we hired a little person. Uh, we, hired, we had a smoke machine. And uh, the whole joke was it was actually me in a towel because my <laughs> wife kicked me out. Yeah. And um, so we shot that scene, and what had happened was the smoke machine set up a fire alarm. <laughs> so I'm in a towel in the basement because it was like I was living down there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and um, so the firefighters were summoned, and I'm sitting there in a towel <laughs> in the basement, surrounded by comic books. And I'm like, well, what do you? The, the alarms are going up. I'm like, I, I go to the, the producer. Like, what do you want me to do? They're just, they're just stay here. We'll figure yeah. it out. <laughs> The chief of the fire chief ends up coming down, and the firefighters and they turn a corner and they see me uh, naked from the waist up, except in a towel. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Oh, that's pretty and The spooky. fire alarms are going off, okay, and we had so many toys piled up to the ceiling yeah. that we were violating all these fire codes. Oh, wow. <laughs> they were flipping out. So all this stuff was going on. I don't know what they thought we were doing. Probably filming porn or something. But anyways, yeah, we found no paranormal. No. Uh, yeah. So that was probably uh, my my parent my, maybe the. The pinnacle of my paranormal. I don't know how long you're in town for, but we're actually investigating tomorrow night at a place about 45 minutes from here, a huge mansion. Wow. I don't know if you're interested in that kind of thing. Wow, it sounds cool. I'm going to leave that up to the experts. But yeah. uh, well, how haunted is Kansas City itself as a town? Uh, there's a ton of haunted places, including the building next door. Right, the the, uh, the, the auditorium. The municipal auditorium, yeah, very looks, haunted. Looks haunted. Mm -hmm. What about UFOs? Honor. We're talking about ghosts. Do you I believe, believe in UFOs? I believe in aliens. Uh, I thought I may have seen a couple of beams of light in the sky, yeah. but I've never had like a close encounter or anything. That's but cool. I, of course, there's, they're out there. They're probably smart enough to not investigate. Yet, sure, yeah. We're, they don't want to avoid us. We're train wrecks down here, man. <laughs> like, yeah. So uh, one last thing before you, you know, we go. You graciously give me your time. Yeah. What about Bigfoot? Oh, I or believe like, in, like creatures out I, in the I believe in cryptids for sure. Yeah, yeah Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, oh, the Jersey Devil for sure. Yeah, there's a reason they've been depicted, maybe not photographed, mm -hmm. but artist renderings. So and, if we make a, you know, an you know, excursion up there to your area, would you oh, go yeah. out in the woods with yeah, us? Yeah, I would, I would the go Jersey look Desert? for the Jersey Devil, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, for sure. I definitely believe in cryptids. I think they're out there. There's, yeah, there, um, there are genetic anomalies everywhere sure. in all aspects of life. Yeah, I, I think I think I think it, it. I think they're out there for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you so much yeah. for being part of this. The, the truth is out there, my yeah. friend. Go <laughs> and find it. Awesome. The ectoplasm show.